Hi this is my YouTube channel where today we are going to learn how to create sliding overlay effect. Simultaneously, we will learn how to make responsive image gallery. Sliding overlay from any direction. I have created HTML and CSS files in Visual Studio Code. Name the title is Sliding Overlay. Add some basic HTML code and link the CSS file. Create a div with class container. Inside it add some heading. Then create a gallery container. Inside gallery add an image tag and an anchor tag. Duplicate the box or change anchor name. Open the file with live server. Here we got the skeleton of website. Now come to the CSS file and remove unwanted margins or paddings. Set box sizing border box. Define the font family. Here is the real CSS starts. Let's create a linear gradient background for the page. I like greenish color, so I will choose this. Don't worry about strips, it will be removed automatically. Now for class container, define the width of 100% and height of 80vh that is viewport height. And so, margin will be 10vh for top or bottom, or auto, for left and right. Define 20% height for height and change the color to white. Add padding of 30 pixel for top or bottom or 0 for left and right. So it is aligned left with gallery. Now for gallery, let's set width of 100%. Set the remaining height of the container, that is 80vh. Display should be flex and justify content space between. So it's responsive now. Now for the image box, let's define width of 32% and position relative. Thirty two per cent because I have three boxes in a row. Let's add background image to the image box.
it's too big now, so set background size to cover, and background position to center. Looking perfect. Duplicate entire bracket for two more time. Set background images to other boxes. Now we will have to center the anchor text. We don't need image tag in HTML, so remove it. As we have defined them at background. Now let's come to CSS. Align the anchor text to center using flex method. The text is not vertically centered, because we haven't defined height for anchor text. Add a background to anchor text, and change color to white. Text decoration will be none. Position should be absolute. Now let's set width and height to 100% so it will cover entire space. Let's create hover effect of sliding overlay. Make actual height of anchor text 0, then make it 100% on hover function. To add smooth sliding effect, set transition of 0.6 seconds. It's moving smoothly now. The anchor text is overflowing out of the image box, so set overflow to hidden. Overlay is working perfect now. Set font size to 3VW, that is 3% of viewport width. Now let's add some media query for mobile view. So the max width will be 700 pixel. Align heading to center. Gallery will be vertical, so set flex direction to column, and align items to center.
Set image box width of 100%. But why it's not showing? That is because, we didn't set height of image box. So set its height to 100%. Well done, but the image box is still small, because it is a flexed item of gallery container. To fix this set flex shrink to zero. Add some margin to it. Let's add some border radius. Here the anchor text is overflowing. Set overflow to hidden. Then remove the scroll bar. The anchor text is filling so big now, so let's fix this. And now the last part that is sliding direction. As we have positioned it absolute we can set top, bottom, left and right values accordingly. Now here you got everything to change the sliding direction. Now just play with the width and height values and also the top, left, right, bottom.